disease is oftentimes called a silent killer. It affects more than 23 million Americans, and many don't even know they're sick. Dr. Brandy Wright is here from UVA's nephrology department. And first off, we want to talk about chronic kidney disease and something also called end-stage renal disease. Explain what those are and how they differ. So I think to understand chronic kidney disease and end-stage renal disease, you first have to understand the normal of the kidney. Sure. So the kidney is a, a wonderful and mighty organ and <laughs> it takes about 25% of our blood flow. And while it's doing that, it's always cleaning the blood. And not only does it clean the blood, but it also helps regulate electrolytes in the blood. And so it, that's your sodium and your potassium. It detects if maybe blood levels are low, helps with anemia, makes vitamin D. Uh, in addition, it also helps with fluid balance. So let's say you're dehydrated, you're going to pee a little less, and that's the kidney. Sure. Or too much fluid, and you'll pee more. And it also helps regulate blood pressure. So when we talk about chronic kidney disease, it is abnormal abnormalities in function. Mm -hmm. So that means that as you have chronic kidney disease, you don't do those things as well. And if you don't do those things at all, you have the most dysfunction. We call that end-stage renal disease. Okay, so how does somebody know that perhaps something's going wrong? Is their blood pressure off? I mean, how do you all detect that? So you're right on. You might have elevated blood pressure and Really, when you get down to not having any kidney function at all, those patients can become sick because your kidney can't get rid of waste and it can't get rid of fluid. Mm -hmm. And some of my patients stop making urine at all, and that's when you're in real trouble. But most of the time, it's silent, and you don't know that you have disease that's progressing. What are the risk factors? Who is more at risk for developing kidney disease like this? So 60% or so of chronic kidney disease and end-stage renal disease come from diabetes and high blood pressure. And so those are the main two things that we look for as risk factors, but also some medications can be risk factors for developing kidney disease as well. So what can you do to prevent? Are, are we talking weight loss, exercise? We, we hear that about almost all conditions, it seems. You know, make sure that you're keeping your calorie intake down <laughs> and you're getting out and exercising. Well, my grandma used to say, truth comes and repeat. And so it's so <laughs> true that all those things are good for all your organs, making sure you get exercise and watching what you eat for the kidney, especially salt, but also controlling your blood pressure, controlling your blood sugar, and avoiding certain medications, especially if you already have kidney disease, like Advil, which is ibuprofen and Motrin, right. and Aleve, which is naproxen, because those can be toxic to the kidney. All right, Dr. Brandy Wright, thank you so Thanks much for, for your coming time. out here today.